Mr. President Valenzuela, your instructor. Today, I will discuss on the International Dangerous Goods, or otherwise known as IMDG, Glass Label. So, when we say dangerous goods, as a property that creates hazards. So, it has also the potential hazards to harm the people or crew or the environment. So, this IMDG cargoes that we have carried on board is being classified into different classes. But, the point is, we also have to distinguish or identify the classes and the labels which correspond to the described uh, goods. Our intended learning outcome for this course is for you to be able to identify the different IMPG class tables. So, I will give you the picture and for you to identify the uh, different class of IMPG labels according to its classes. So, do you remember the 9-11 uh, bombing in the US? Yes. So, what they use on the event of this bombing? Explosive. Explosive. So, today I will give you the picture of the explosive. So, explosive belongs to the class 1. So, it may be a major hazard. So, because when it reacts to a chemical reaction, it can easily detonate. So, it might be a mass explosion hazard, or the minor explosion hazard, or the significant explosion hazard, and so on. So, the most important thing, there is a technique on how to distinguish this kind of glass and label. So let's say, for example, this, this explosive is class 1. So in this label, there is a certain number. So that means, for you, you can easily distinguish it by the number. So you have in mind that ah, class 1 is explosive. So when you see a label without a name, so that means it's already an exclusive. And also it shows the explosion picture of explosion. So, it will be quite easily uh, analyzed. And, how about the uh, on board? What we use during welding or cutting some materials? Acetylene. So, acetylene is a kind of gas. No? So, that belongs to the number two classification of our uh, AMDD code. So, it belongs to the flammable gas. So, flammable gas has the properties which uh, contribute uh, hazards due to flammability. So, the name itself, flammability. Again, you can see the number two. Number two, which means it is class two. So, that means Flammable gas belongs to the class 2. And on board, what is used to uh, propel our ships? Well, what is needed? Okay, you're right, sir. Fuel. So, fuel belongs to the flammable degree. So, you must also identify the hazards of this one. So, you see when you are involved in gas or fuels, when you forgot to uh, smoke within the area, what will happen? So, it also 
are considered as the hazard of this uh, number three uh, IMDG code. <coughs> Next, flammable solids. So flammable solids, according to which name solids, that means it's anything you can find even here in the classroom which has a property to uh, spontaneous combustion or when uh, involved in uh, water sometimes they emit gases which also create a hazard to our life. So thank you all solids. Number five is the oxidizing substances and the organic peroxide. So oxidizing means from the term oxygen. So it will trigger the combustion or by means of oxygen. So organic peroxide. Organic peroxide is sample of that is the hydrogen peroxide also. Again, you can see it is being labeled down with numbers. So, the 5.1 is the oxidizing substances and 5.2 is the organic peroxide. Uh, next is the toxic and the infectious substances. What can you see in the picture? Skull. Skull. So what else? So what it makes you uh, think when you see a skull? Yeah. Yes. 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 So that means it is toxic or poisonous or infectious. So this means you can easily distinguish this kind of uh, label implies a certain portion. The next is the radioactive materials. This say uh, radioactive materials it is a material when it, it happens during chemical reaction and it consists of the of uh, radioactive nuclides which is subject for the uh, radioactive decay also so it, it causes hazards so what is the hazard it might cause? So the uh, possible hazards of these uh, radioactive materials one is the radiation it brings to you so let's say example who among you are here are married <laughs> So you want, when you marry, you want a child, right? So one of the side effects is the, the sterility. So it is one of the effects of this uh, radioactive material. When you expose, so again, also creates harm or hazard. We go to the corrosives. Corrosive is, uh, belongs to the class A of the IMDG code. So, as you can see in the picture, See the hands, and this is a metal. So it shows that it also came from the substance or chemical. So what is the harm of this one? So when in contact to the skin or the living tissue, it may damage your skin or tissue. Same though with the metal and this surrounding, it will also damage depends on the extent of the substance. The last of the uh, IMDG class is the miscellaneous and dangerous substance and article. Now, what are those? These are the substance which is different and not included to the rest of the uh, other classes from 1 to 8. That's why it is below to be miscellaneous and dangerous substance. So one example of that is a medical or your or a kit like saving appliances or the one uh, when we go drink something alcoholic was also classified as the miscellaneous substance. So let's see. Let's see how uh, you you has up the uh, discussion, the lecture. So, do you have any uh, clarification? Okay. So, 
I will proceed to identify for you to identify the different labels of a certain IMDG class. So, what do you call this IMDG label? Are you sure that this one is able to live? Okay, you will see. So you are right. Okay. So, so, what is this one? So, 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 so. Okay. You're right. How about this one?